Spirit of Stacy, Renee, we ask for your presence. Commune with us, Stacy, and move among us. Spirit of Stacy, Renee. We ask for your presence. Commune with us, Stacy, and move among us. Spirit of Stacy Renee, we ask for your presence. Commune with us, Stacy, and move among us. We shall now proceed to deal the Kanzari. As is always the case, when we turn each card in the order that it's dealt, there are four cards that we do not turn over. That's this, this, this and this. That's the North, South, East and West uh, cards. And we do this out of respect for Spirit, out of respect for Stacy. So, just so we don't accidentally reveal them or turn them over, we remove them completely. And then that means we're, we're safe, aren't we? And Stacy's spirit is, is respected fully. So now they are placed on the bottom of the deck. Just pop the deck there, I think, just for now, until we can... Uh, do something later on where I might just probably actually just rotate them 90 degrees so we can use the other later. We'll just rearrange these now because because of the space it's not a square as such. Um, we haven't really got the room to place these two cards here properly so we can now move them into their proper place. So we so we get this this cross here, don't we? If if, if you can uh, you just see that there. And then we just just neaten up these these here, just to make them look presentable. And then we we can. We can proceed to turn the cards, can't we? Can't we? So let, let's have a look and see what cards um, Stacy has given us. We thank you, Stacy, for your presence. And the first card is, uh, we'll just turn that over. The first card is Dream. Um, and the letter J, I'll, I'll just show you that card. 
dream. And that seems to be like the. It seems to be a, a central thing in the uh, in, in in the layout there that uh, maybe I wouldn't say Stacy was a dreamer or anything like that, but certainly she she may have had dreams, may have had aspirations or or, or visions even. Um, maybe she came up with a lot of good ideas when 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 she uh, was asleep. Maybe she speaks to you through the dreams. Well, we'll see if that term mediumship card comes up. Well, it says, you know, I'm I'm within your dreams and all that sort of thing. He might not. We don't we don't know what's going to happen yet. We'll, we'll we'll give them a shuffle a bit later on to see if we can get a message from from Stacy. But just for now, let's just establish what we've got and and, and what what's going on. Well, we'll pull, pull another card out and let's have a look and see what this one's all about. Window. A letter O in the Eye of Horus. Um, the Eye of Horus seems to just come to mind. Uh, why I don't know. The the Eye of Horus is the um, the 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 eye that Horus had had poked out when he was in battle, and a magician restored it. That's why it often represents restoration, doesn't it? And, and, and rejuvenation and things like that. Maybe uh, that's often they say the eyes are the windows to the soul, don't they? I don't know if that's got anything to do with with anything. If that means anything to you, that's just something that came to mind. But the window, um, certainly this 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 window card does does sort of have a. Have, have a feel to it, although it is a frame and, and you've got the thing there. There seems nevertheless to be a touch of darkness there, as if maybe Stacy can use the darkness, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, so that you can see her through the window, or maybe there is a favourite window that she used to stand by or sit by, or something of that nature. But there's something about the window. And, and dreams and things like that. Let's let's just see what other connections are here before we before we jump the gun and and rush into th assumptions and things. Let's let's get everything visual. There's a, there's another card visual and, and the key and the number two. Um, yes, a uh, visual. There's there's a thing. Maybe um, maybe it is a case of you you might probably you, you do see see her or something like that. I don't, I don't know, maybe is this, uh, why, I, I don't know, but certainly see it in dreams, of course, maybe, if you see the link that he's next to there. I uh, just had to get that one in. Um, of course, the window, maybe you see it in dreams as you're looking out the window, or the, or the window, and why I'm coming back to this window, I don't know, the eye, the eye of Horus, remember, and, and the eye of visions. We were on about visions, and it's visual. Uh, so clearly, she may may make her presence known to you visually. May not sort of physically, as in moving things about or doing things like that, but turning the lights on and off and, and all that sort of thing. But certainly, it's a visual thing you do see here. And this is normal, I think, that they are there, and they just like to maybe let you know that, you know, um, that everything is okay. I don't know. Let's let's just see what the next card is that we're revealing now. Um, attic. I don't know what the attic's uh, something significant there in the attic. I don't know. Uh, the latter you and and, and um, uh, there. That's. Let's show you that card just so you can get a grasp of that. Um. Yes, it's uh, so we've got these four in the middle already, haven't we? Dream, dream window, visual attic. I don't know if maybe if there's if you haven't got an attic, of course, it could be referring to a, a loft space or, or something. Maybe there's something up in the attic, something stored away that used to belong to Stacy, maybe. And uh, she's saying that the visual thing is you'll see it, um, or you'll I don't know about finding it, but certainly. You might see it, and it might remind you of 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 it. 
you may be given a message from Stacy in a dream or, or something. She seems to be speaking through dreams or using dream a dreamlike sort of state to, to to communicate with you. But nevertheless, a visual a visual thing as well. And uh, the the attic, of course, uh, something may be up there. Uh, um, I suppose attics usually hold a lot of antiques and family heirlooms and things like that. Maybe it could be just symbolic of, of a of a family heirloom. I don't know, but but certainly, if 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 you have an attic, check up there again. Just have, just have another look around and see if you can find anything. Uh, from that point of view, if there's a clue been given to you, if she's left anything behind, then it may need passing on, or, 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 or I, I don't know. It, but certainly, if it's not an attic, it, it can refer to loft space, I'm sure. It's the same sort of thing. These cards are, are just symbolic of, of the spirit is using what cards we have available, really. And if the card that, or if the message that they want to sort of get over isn't quite in the cards, they'll use the nearest energy to it, won't they? But certainly something to do with the window there. Um, maybe, I don't know if there's something, something as you look through the window into the darkness. Uh, let's now start turning over these other cards. Um, well, I've just placed it. Uh, this other card, now this is the fifth card that we that we've that we've got, uh, yes, decay. Uh, um, it, 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 sorry, sorry, not decay. It looked like it, but it isn't. It's hiding. Actually, I tell a lie. It's because with it being on its side and having reading glasses on, it looked like the decay card. But actually, it's uh, it's a portrait view and it's hiding. And it's got Libra and the letter B. I don't know why I'm locking onto Libra. Why am I? Looking onto that part of it. Sorry about the slight mistake there, but my reading glasses do tend to. Uh, when having a visual impairment, that does tend to uh, thing, uh, block things off a bit. Um, hiding. I don't know. Is that something that's hiding? Is is it a hiding place? Libra. Seems as if it's trying to set a balance or. or call for justice or put something right in some way. Why, why I'm thinking along those lines, I don't know. Is she sort of saying that something needs to be put right here? Something's hidden. Is it hidden in the attic or in the loft space, maybe? Or is it hidden through the window? Or you've got to visual. Look, just the visual and how it's hidden. And when things are hidden, you have to look for things, don't you? Uh, and, and, and that's sort of um, thing that that, that that you've got. Let, let's take another look now and see what this other card is here. That the, the uh, card number six, and, and let's just have a look. Uh, memory. Um, clearly, uh, there's a, there's this this card um, clearly is the letter I. There are numbers and letters, you know, letters and numbers on, on these cards, each card has a letter or a number on it or whatever. And we'll arrange them later on at the end and, and we'll see if there is a, a hidden message from Stacy, if she's left you a message. If you can do like an anagram puzzle or something like that, she can leave you. Uh, let's, uh, let's just see what this is about, memory. Of course, this is like a statue, isn't it? I suppose statues are like... Uh, or uh, they're sort of like a, a memory of sorts, aren't they? In the sense of they're there to remind you of somebody's impression of what they felt about something, or their impression of, from an art, artistic point of view. Um, what else is seen? I just can't know the colour. Is it the, I don't know if it's the colour white, or I don't know what that symbol is there. I'm a bit unfamiliar with some of these symbols, some are alchemy symbols. And, I, and I'm not quite, not quite uh, uh, familiar with them, unfortunately. Nevertheless, we can play with what we've got, so to speak. And as, as you can see already, uh, something hidden, memory. And, and what's the memory near? Is the memory next to the attic card and the window? Maybe there are memories 
uh, by the window something, an ornament or something, a chair or a, just a table or just something that's by the window maybe, not necessarily as you look through the window you see it, maybe you do see it through the window, I don't know, but maybe there's something by the window um, that holds g good memories, and memories in the attic as well, hidden in the attic. I can't get that why it's hidden in the attic, but nevertheless, it's got to be found. I somehow, although there isn't a find it card here, um, I've, I mean, I've looked at the deck and, and, and checked it through completely, and there isn't, uh, as far as I know, a find it sort of card. There is a Luke card, as in Luke, you know, that, that might come up, I don't know yet. Let's just see what these other cards are first. Um, We've got these these four here and, and five or six. Let's see what this one is, and, and let's see what this uh, may may be here. Angel uh, and an arrow pointing down at the number seven. Just just take a look at that, and we'll we'll um, maybe maybe this is a, a um, something. An angel. I mean, an angel is a messenger, isn't it? The, the true meaning of the word angel or the definition of the word angel is messenger that, that's all it means really uh, flappy wingy harp playing is just I suppose the, the wings symbolize the movement of the messages and the harp I suppose symbolizes the message being played or spoken or, or uttered or whatever uh, that's how I understand it of course an angel notice how the arrow is pointing this way as if it's pointing sort of Toward, I suppose, memory in, in a way. If if it was if you moved it like that, you could you could be sort of fooled into thinking it was pointing toward the memory like that. As if there's a message in the memory. The memories I suppose we all have good memories, don't we? And, and the memories that we have we we hold dear to us. And maybe the the angel the there is an angel, maybe may, maybe Stacy now is the angel, I, I don't know, maybe she is, is the one, she, she, let's face it, it's the, the memories that we remember her by, isn't it, uh, I suppose, uh, the memories that we remember by aren't they actually, I think that's bad grammar, that's, that's my part more than anything, but let's about me and more about Stacy, because Stacy's here at the minute, aren't you Stacy, and I think she's, she is saying sort of like Luke for something that's hidden, either in the attic by the window, uh, although by the window the angel points toward memory, as as if he's pointing either that way -ish towards memory, as if it's indicating there's a memory by the window from the attic. Did you notice how the, the position of that card, if we could move it, I'm not saying as if he's cheating at this game, if, if you can call it a game, I mean it isn't really, but you could sort of say we it's like a game in the sense if you move it that way it's pointing toward the memory and if you move it slightly more it's pointing from the attic to the memory isn't it like as if it's got that sort of feel but it's, it'll be coming from there as well wouldn't it it'll be coming from the final card what is the final card let's let's have a check of what that final card is the final card is tactile and a candle again, there's a candle, um, a symbol of a candle, and the letter F. Um, it seems as though maybe you light a candle in memory of, of, of Stacy. And, and, uh, and of course, tactile is, is to do with feel, isn't it? It's to do with, uh, um, of, of how we, how, how we, you know, see things, or, or we can actually see things, how we feel things. Um, so really, in, in a way, it, it, it sort of indicates that, doesn't it? Where light a candle, though there's a candle, as if as if the as if the candle means something or other. Uh, I can't quite uh, put me, me me finger on it, if if you get what I mean. Um, but the hand indicates tactile feeling, so maybe something you physically feel. For as much as you've got to look for something um, hidden, maybe feeling around for it in the dark as well. Uh, often in attics it's a bit dark if you've got no light. Maybe maybe you'll have to open up in the loft space or wherever it is, this, this sort of attic space type place 
that Stacy is referring to, there is something there you've got to you have to find. I wouldn't say you've got to look for it, but but certainly it's a visual thing. You'll you you, you will see you see Stacy, no doubt, and and and, and it's about the, the tactile, of course. Notice the tactile comes if as if we, if we do that angel thing, although I can't really say it's coming from there really. But tactile is next to vis visual, remember? Vision and tactile, as if as if to see and feel at the same time. As if Stacy, not only you don't just see her, but you, you will feel her presence as well. When Sometimes when people are standing next to you, you can sense they're there, although you don't look at them. You Because the air, I suppose, there's air pressure, isn't there, that, that separates both of you. And, and, you, and, you, and it gets different as you, as you get close together. Uh, we had a thing in yoga or whatever it was where you could put your hands on somebody's back like this and they could just stand facing away from you. You could put that, you just move your hands to the back and pull back slightly and you'd that, that sort of touch their idiomotor field and they would fall back. You could pull them back because they can feel that energy, you see, the, the energy in the idiomotor field. And this is a similar sort of thing here where maybe Stacy, I, I did just say, well, you know, you see it, but of course, clearly, this final card has just proved me not wrong, but just certainly held me in suspense. Anyway, haven't you, Stacy? To the fact that that you that you are there, sort of, you feel her presence as well as as see her. So, so you either. And or, I suppose, you either see her, just see her, feel her, just feel her, or, or both. Um, but also she's there in your dreams, uh, in, in that sense, the dream sort of state. Maybe when you, you've come in from work, or you've done, been doing a, a, some, some hard work, something, or, or, or you, you're tired. Sometimes when people are tired, they, they, can, they can enter the... the, the, uh, the um, the astral sort of plane is sometimes it's been known where people are walking home and they've been really really tired virtually falling asleep as they're walking home and they'll see themselves walk ahead of themselves and that is actually because the astral double sort of separates from the body and lags behind and then catches up again and joins back up and it's that very strange sort of thing that that is um, and, and, and maybe that's what it is, when you're tired and dream, in a dream-like state, the angel, there is an angel that is giving a message. I do sense really though Stacy is the angel here, in the sense that she's pointing out something toward a memory. It's, it's as if he's pointing that way, not parallel to, but to a memory, as if we could move that card, which we can't really, I suppose we shouldn't, but it's as if, if we did all this sort of thing, and moved it around with, well, it's he's having an arrow on it. Clearly, it's directly above that. There's nothing in the centre other than pointing that way. It can't really be pointing behind unless it's coming from something that's tactile, unless you felt something and it's pointing toward a, a memory. The, the way you feel a presence is something that sparks a memory. Sometimes when we smell things, it can spark a memory, can't it? Uh, from when we were children or something like that, you know, the first time we smelt grapes or something like that, you know, we were in hospital visiting somebody who was ill, so we always link grapes with illness or things like that, you know. It's just silly things, but it's, nevertheless, the angel is pointing to, 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 as if I feel it's pointing toward the memory, it's pointing in that direction anyway, where it, it's sort of pointing something out as if, Stacy is giving you a message to just use the memory maybe. Maybe they are hidden memories, maybe you've got to feel them physically or look for them. But maybe if they're physical, of course, you will have to look for them in the physical world. And, and, and that there will be, maybe you've just found something or you will find something later on as well. But the window, of course, something by the window, I don't know. But nevertheless, there's something with, with the Eye of Horus, other than being the the, the, the magical restored eye, maybe there's something that that restores you when, when you're by the window, in the sense, I don't know. I think Stacy is leaving that as a private message to you, really. Let's see what Stacy has to say 
through these medium ship cards, Stacey. Whilst you're present, uh, I wonder if you could... I'll shuffle these, these medium ship cards now. If you could uh, help place the cards in, in, in a position with, with the messages that are on the cards, if you could use the messages constructively in a way to, to convey some message to to the rest of the family and, and, and to your relatives and friends maybe. Uh, something that clearly they'll understand, I might not understand because I don't really I don't really know you in that way Stacey but it's nice, you've got a nice energy to you. Uh, the, certainly the Kanzari, you have, you have uh, influenced the Kanzari in such a way that there are no negative cards again. And I say again because I did a Kanzari setting for for somebody else uh, and, and they also have very positive cards coming through. Uh, when you consider uh, some of the disturbing uh, cards that are in the Kanzari uh, it, it's very very so you've got to have a chance of being struck by lightning. So this has got to be in my view this has got to be a genuine uh, presence. And we do thank you for that, Stacey. Uh, forgive my sense of humour or flippancy. We'll just cut the cards now for you there, and I wonder if if you can uh, just help uh, provide a message. Let's, we'll, we'll just place the cards here, and then I'll I'll place the, the message cards just over here. So what I'll do, I'll just try, well I can't really move them anymore, can I really? Um, is there enough can I just, with me having a screen on the camera, yes, I can just see that there. So, so that's, that's fair enough. We'll place the message cards here. Um, so let's just turn this card over slowly to see what Stacey has to say. She's, she's just using the card that says, I am with the rest of the family. Isn't that a strange thing I've just mentioned about the rest of the family? And that come up. Well, isn't that strange? Don't, don't you think? Uh, what a queer thing, isn't he? But then again, is it coincidence? Or, I don't think it's coincidence. I think it's Stacy, isn't it, Stacy? I think you know exactly what you're doing here. And, um, so, let's just keep it in the family. Uh, as I said, if there's a message for, as I said, have you got a message for the rest of the family? Uh, whatever, friends and whatever, yes, I am with the rest of the family. So, the, the, um, the other members who are now in the Summerlands with Stacy, uh, no doubt, uh, are there. And, and, and that, that's a nice thing to know, isn't it, really? Because, uh, it's not, uh, you know, I suppose we can all assume that that's hopefully what happens to us all. Uh, we, we end up with those we love. Let's just see what this card says here. Don't be afraid. I wonder what... I am with the rest of the family. As if I'm got to put the word so in, although I don't know if that's... But I'm with the rest of the family, so don't be afraid. And I'm sort of linking that up to make like a phrase with it. Don't be afraid I'm with the rest of the family. Maybe that's what she's, she's saying. She's just using the cards of these messages on to sort of convey that the message maybe she she would say it in a different way uh, sort of paraphrase it in, in some different way I don't know but it's that that's the message that she's putting over let's just see if there's another card and, and, and let's just see if I just feel another one she wants to to to, to, to add to that don't you Stacy uh, you're with the rest of the family don't be afraid uh, I am learning over here. Uh, I'm with the rest of the family. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, so don't be afraid because I'm learning over here. It's like as if you put a so and a because in. Um, uh, that, that's how I would sort of read that. Uh, I'm with the rest of the family. So don't be afraid because I'm learning over here. Uh, learning what, I wonder? Uh, I suppose there are lots of things to learn when you're in the Summerlands, aren't there? Of course. And uh, if we're being prepared for, a, for a, I suppose, if people have bad lives, the Buddhists believe that if you're going through hell on, on, in, in this life, and on this side, of course, then, then you're like, 
been prepared for something better. You've been prepared for a better life later on, aren't you? That, that's what what the Buddhists... But less about the Buddhists for now, and let's just focus on Stacey's message here, that uh, she's with the rest of the family, so don't be afraid. Uh, she's learning over here. And I, I, I just somehow feel as though another card, maybe it's me, I don't know, I just feel like pulling another card, I'll point you in the right direction. Don't be afraid, I'm learning over here and I'll point you in the right direction. So, as if she's saying, anything that I learn, anything that I've learnt over here, I'll pass that through to you. I'm the angel, you don't see the link, the angel there, I'll pass the message on. I'll, I'll like, uh, um, I'll point you in the right direction. I don't know if you can, you can notice that there. The fork in the road and, and, and you know, which way do we turn, whatever. I suppose that, that can be sort of symbolic in, in that way, but it's as if the angel, I am the angel and I will point you in the right direction. Point you the arrow and point it. And we said about, uh, about Stacy being an angel, the messenger. She's a messenger, remember? And, and she's giving you this message of, of pointing, and I'll point you in the right direction, maybe toward the memories and toward wherever it is, whatever it is you've got to find that's hidden, uh, you've got to look for it, and although the loot card isn't up, the visual thing, maybe that's of course, I still link to that to actually, you will see me, maybe I will make myself present to you, and, and, and point it out to you, either in a dream, I may have already done so, I don't know, I'm just using, pretending to be Stacy, sort of assuming, uh, but I'm just assuming that maybe then she, she's used dreams, or maybe she's come to you visually, or maybe even from a tactile point of view, you've sort of felt her energy uh, present as if, and not only have you felt her presence, but as if she, you could sort of sense how she feels as well. If she's got a smile on her face, or if she's happy with you, or if she's saying, yeah, that's, that's the right way, that's the right thing, or that's the right direction to look, or, 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 or whatever. Um, and of course, while I'm looking at the window again, I don't know, it's that window thing again, I'm going to just pull another message out, just to see if she, she says you're pointing in the right direction, uh, because whatever she's learnt, it's as if whatever she's learnt over there, She'll she'll pass on that information to you now, isn't that that's that's not bad as it really, uh, not bad as it as it goes, and she just says, I am here helping you. Well, isn't that basically those two cards are together, aren't they? You know, it doesn't really matter which one you get, really, does it? It's like as if hello, uh, I'm here. Excuse me, but hello, rat -a tat tat. Anybody in? Uh, yes, okay, Stacey, I, I, I got the message myself. Uh, maybe she has got a sense of humour, and she was like that, you know. Uh, and, and she's using a sense of humour now, because uh, you, you've got to smile, haven't you, really, when you think about it. But yes, uh, Angel Stacey, you, you, you're there, you, you, you're helping, us, helping, helping people to, you know, the, the memory, focus on the memories, and, and, and just... If you do see her, I suppose she's saying with that don't be the don't don't be afraid thing as well. You know, if you do see me and you do feel my presence, don't be afraid. I'm here. Um I'm just here in a different form. Um I can't be here physically because my body's gone. But it doesn't mean I'm gone. It just means my body's gone, that's all. Um and it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? Where we where we just have to move on and and, 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 and sort of regenerate, a bit like the Eye of Horus again, I'm locking onto that again, in the sense that we just have to renew ourselves, uh, magically restore ourselves through spirit, in the spiritual sort of sense, in the sort of becoming aware of and higher form, other things, and, and that, this is it. So I think with that then, I think what we'll do now is just leave Stacy's love with you, because I think she's, she's sort of stated the obvious in the sense of um, where are we going here, I, I think she's passed the message over, maybe just reassurance you need, maybe a message as such 
I feel really personally, this is just my opinion, I could be wrong, I hope I am, but maybe she doesn't really need to pass a message on through through these cards because other than just to say that you can see her, that you can feel her, and she's probably already passed those messages on to you. And this may, be just con this may just confirm that fact that uh, everything's okay and uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, there's nothing to worry about, I'm with the rest of the family, and uh, of course your family, and uh, you'll be with me too when, when the time comes. Uh, of course we don't want to rush that or delay the inevitable, anything like that. We all have our own time and, and, and that's, that's it. So, so with that, um, we do know that love is the law, love is the bond. So Stacy, merry did we meet, merry do we part, and merry may we meet again. Blessed be to all absent friends. And finally, as promised, here is the hidden message that Stacy has left for us. I wonder if we can decipher that. <laughs> 